Hey there, everyone. I recently started a podcast, something I wanted to give a go for the longest time, and it launched last Thursday, August 22nd. If you like the content already on my channel and want more of my life in gaming, then have a listen. I will touch on topics that I usually cover on this channel, like indie and Nintendo stuff, but also have episodes that are more open to other topics like my history with gaming, how I got into indie gaming, and what I'm currently playing. Also interviews with developers in the future on their thoughts on gaming and the games they are currently developing. There is a link in the description and comments that links to the podcast page on Podbean, but it can be found on other platforms like Google Play Music, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, TuneIn, and The Source. I know everyone isn't a fan of audio only content, so expect podcast segments of certain episodes to release on YouTube with video footage like today's segment. Here is a clip of a new episode where I talk about some of my first indie games. If you have any questions or recommendations, then feel free to let me know. I hope you enjoyed today's segment and take care. The next game on this list is very special to me because it's a story rich game that literally made me cry. And that is To The Moon. If you've never heard of this game, it's basically a story where you have two traveling doctors that go through the past of a dying man's wish and memories to fulfill that wish in his head. It's a very depressing game because you relive a lot of these regrets and moments that you kind of think back on into your life and things that you regret and it really is very depressing but it's a really uplifting game at the same time just thinking about it really makes me teary-eyed still and having this game being my first really narration that i played this is an isometric top-down type of view and discovering secrets for a broken world and by the end of the game you have like a broken heart you had to put these pieces back together to see why this particular world and what really happened. And there's a lot of interesting things in this game and I really recommend checking it out. There's other games that came out since then that I didn't keep up with from Freebird Games. They're the developers that seem to do a lot of story driven games. And I really need to check on this other game called Finding Paradise, which seems to have really good reviews as well. I just don't want to go through heartbreak again and having to go through it. Oh man, it's a game that if you're really looking for a story rich game or if you want to get into one that's not long, I think it was only like a few hours or so. And it definitely is a lot of fun to play with a little bit of puzzle elements. There's not a lot of gameplay in here, but there is definitely a lot of heart. To the Moon is a game that also inspired me to start learning piano. And over the course of many years, I've practiced on and off, but I'm starting to go back into it again and wanting to learn the song For River. If you haven't heard that song, then feel free to go on YouTube right now and listen to it. It's a very touching song with repeated patterns, which is very important to the game and the story. And it's just something that really just brings a tear to my eye. To the Moon is a game I really love.